Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and in today's video I am doing an unboxing and swatching of my new uh, Gansey Tambi um, watercolors that I ordered from Paper and Ink Arts and you can get them single stock. So um, I'm going to show you here. I've had this set for a long time. As you can see, um, you can see what my favorite colors are. <laughs> um, and they do kind of dry up and kind of shrivel like this over time, but they still work. Like, like I said, I've had these for a long time and then they give you like a little swatch thing here. So this is the set, um, one of the bigger sets. Now they do, they recently came out with a Art Nouveau set and I thought about getting it for a while but I didn't. I got this a long time ago and I use it for my other crafts mostly, not as much for coloring because, so I wanna mention this, is that these watercolors have a very, um, they have kind of, if you put a lot of it, a shiny finish. They kind of have a, a finish that makes it hard to, to color on top with pencil. So, I, I would not really use this for base, like basing, you know, before pencil. Um, although maybe you can, you know, you could, you could like experiment, but just from what I kind of noticed. So, but they're not really good for like mixing together colors, but they are good for like straight coloring. You know what I mean? So um, I got some new colors here and I'm planning to use this just for like straight coloring Maybe I'll be able to shade on top. I don't really know, but I would not use this for basing. So um, I wouldn't like pick this as my first choice is what I'm saying for coloring, but I already have these and I like them and for straight coloring. And I'm going to also use this in my other craft. So yeah, so I just wanted to clarify because I feel like sometimes I don't really make my point. So these are, are good for coloring, but I wouldn't, if you don't have any watercolors, and you wanted to get watercolors for coloring, I wouldn't pick this as my first choice because you can't, it's hard to do pencil on top of it. The finish is not, it's better to get a different watercolor. These are originally, from what I understand, it, it is a Japanese brand. And what you do with them is basically write. It's for writing characters, like the Japanese characters in art and stuff like that. And where you go like this with a, a thick brush, that's why the pan is like this, a thick brush and you can, you know, so it's not your typical watercolor, but I still like them for um, coloring and I'm going to show you how I, how I use it um, in a minute. But as you could see, this, this is a really well-loved dirty set. I've had this for a long time. I use it in my other crafts. Like I make collage papers for like journals, like vintage type journals, mixed media journals. And I, like for example, these hearts, I made it on book, book page like papers. So I use that for that, you know, for this kind of stuff. So um, I just kind of want to show you, but I'm going to show you an example of how I use it in the coloring books in a minute. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. And um, let's see, so unfortunately when I bought, I took out some colors and I didn't realize that if you don't get six, you don't get this for free from Paper and Ink Arts. So I actually am short one. If I had, whoops, if I had ordered one more like pan, I would have um, got another palette of this, but that's okay, I'll, I'll just order it. You know, next time I make an order, I'll order another one of these, so. But you do get this for free if you pick six colors. So, and they kind of like sit in here kind of nicely. So it just makes it a little easier. Okay, so I'm going to uh, write down the colors and I'll be back. These are all the single pan colors that I ordered in this order. And I'm going to take out the uh, plastic and, and come right back. Okay, so we're gonna start with the greens because that is those are my favorite colors. <laughs> oh my god, my water is so dirty, you guys. Wow. Okay, let me let me clean my water. Okay, I'm back with clean water. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Ooh, this is looking good. Lime green. Yes, love this kind of color. 
These are so vivid. That's what I like about these color, these uh, watercolors. I'm not exactly sure. Something about the formula is different. These are very different than other watercolors. So I don't know exactly what it is. I'm not a chemist or like, I haven't like researched it a lot, but just from my experience, because I have used them a lot. Oh my God, yes, I love this. This one's called Greenish Yellow. This is like, these two are like my favorite colors for sure. This one's called Green Gold, which is another type of usually color that I like. Ooh, it's beautiful. Oh my God, I have a feeling I'm gonna order more. I I wish I had taken, I, I wish I didn't take out a, um, this like light blue, turquoise blue that I took out of my cart. Cause I said, you know what, let me first see if I'm using them and then I'll order more, but I regret that <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Okay, now I wanted to show you that they have, even though I save the labels, always save the labels, you guys, but, and I didn't do that in the past and I regretted it, but this has the the number, I mean, the name on the back, which is awesome. So, and it's made in Japan, as you can see here it says. So I'm gonna write the other colors. Okay, this one is natural beige. Ooh, a very beautiful, useful color. This one is Ecru, Ecru Beige. And it's a little darker than that one. This one is Flax Beige. Awesome color also, very useful. This one's called Yellow Brown and um, it's a very awesome, unique brown. Like, not unique, useful. Very useful brown. This one is called Mars Yellow. Look how vibrant and like pigmented they are, it's crazy. Okay. And then I'm gonna get my uh, pinks and purples written. Okay, so here we have the uh, mauve taupe, it's called. And it's a really nice vintage kind of um, purpley color. Uh, this one's called lilac. What I like about um, getting it single pan is that you can pick, you know, which colors you want. Because in the sets, obviously you can't pick, you know. And I don't know of any other website that has them single pan. Maybe there are. But um, I just noticed that when I did my Calera order that they had these. So I never noticed that before. Maybe it's new on the website. I don't know. That one's called Coral Pink, a beautiful pink. So those are the new colors that I got in my order. And I am gonna put some other colors from my, from my regular style, swatch some on here and just show you. Okay, so here is the rest of the swatches. Um, I accidentally dripped some water here, so it got smudged, but it says here Coral Pink. But these are all the rest of the colors. Um, I showed you the ones that I, the new ones that I got, I, put, I actually put them in here until I buy another like case like this. I have to buy another case like this. But, um, And I did also save the labels of the, this is my coloring journal. I did save the labels, so that way I, I keep track. Even though these do have um, the name, which is awesome. But not a lot, not all the uh, brands do that, so always save your labels. So I swatched the rest of these. So you can see these are all the colors that I have. And I wanted to know, you know, how, you know, what are the colors that I have in one place and just keep it with the art supply. So I'm gonna keep this with a box. And um, so those are the rest of the colors. As you can see, the set comes with a ton of reds, a ton. Um, so, and that is, I believe, because in the Japanese art, they do a lot of writing of the letters of the characters with red. So I think that's why there's a lot of reds. 
um, I'm assuming. There's also a lot of greens, which is interesting, which I personally like. A lot of them are very similar. You have sap green and then sap green deep, which, you know, for me is a little bit of a shame um, that they're so close. It's not that necessary, but um, I would, I don't know if I, I would get the Art Nouveau set. If, if I had to start over, I would get the Art Nouveau set because I like the colors there better and then supplement with other, you know, a single stock. Now that I know that they come single stock, I love that. So I am going to complete my set with some other colors. I won't get all of them, but I will get more because I do like using them. So let me show you a page where I, where I used them. I'll show you a couple, but right here, um, I used a lot of, uh, mostly that those paints. The only place I did it is these leaves. I did do ink tents, but uh, let me show you here. So the berries I did with those and the leaves, I did use Calero, but for the green part is the Gansey Tambi. So this yellow, like uh, right here, the flower, the strawberry, the leaves here, the crown, other than the gold is the Gansey Tambi, right here, the leaves. Um, so, and the cupcake, other than the metallic, I did use mostly Gansey Tambi. And I will go over, you can go over with some pencil, like I'll use my Prisma, but it is not ideal for basing, you know, underneath pencil, um, in my opinion, but I will show you how I use them. So what you can do with them is basically start with a darker, like a, a dark color or any color. And then water it down and go up with just water. And that will create a natural shading. That's how I did all of these. So I'm going to show you in a second what I mean. Okay. So let me show you here what I mean. I'm going to do a little bit of red here. Basically, you're going to shade with the water is what I'm trying to say. Um... So I'm putting, putting a, now this book can take a lot of water, so that's why I like using them in here. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of the orange. And while it's kind of wet, I'm gonna dip my, my brush in a uh, clearer water, a different brush, and then drag it whatever is left, drag, drag, drag. And it creates a natural shading with just the water. So I just wanted to show you, that's how I have used them. Now you can do that with other watercolors too. You don't need these, I'm just showing you these, so. That's how I did all of like all the items here. I just put more color down wherever the, the shading is, the darker part of the object. And then I just took water and dragged the rest. So I didn't add more pigment, just like I showed you here. So um, that is how I like to use these, um, just kind of like for straight coloring. Like even here, you see this green? I didn't shade, I didn't drag with water. I just put it down and here it's lighter, here it's darker, just naturally because it's a watercolor, you'll have color variations. Same with here in the teapot, there's just natural color variation. So I use it like a marker basically, but um, it's not a marker, it's, it's with a brush, you know. So even here I did that too, I just put more, more color here and then dragged with water up here. And I will show you some other pages where I used it in the past. So one second. Okay, so in World of Flowers, I used the Gansey Tambi a little bit because I didn't have a lot of coloring supplies at the time. So right here, I did use the yellow. I think it's number 43, but since I broke the spine, I have to finish, I'll have to finish that off. But the yellow background is just straight coloring with them, these watercolors. The Gansey uh, Tambi, this one. And yeah, that's how it looks. I, I think it's cute, you know, if that's the effect you're going for. I just wanted to show you. And then um, I also did here. Here I started but didn't finish with the green. Um, 
because, like I said, this is one of the first items that I had a long time ago. So I did, you can use it for coloring, obviously, in different ways. But uh, now, having after having um, these for basing, I would say for basing with pencil on top, these are the best. Winsor Newton Common. Because it leaves like a nice wash, and then the, the texture that it leaves is perfect for pencil on top. But um, I do love these for just straight coloring instead of a marker. They're beautiful. They're so vibrant and pigmented. So I wanted to show you um, what I got, So I, the, the new colors that I got. And um, I will be adding more because um, I like the look a little bit more than uh, water-based markers, just markers. So... And they're a lot of fun to use, very easy. I just pick it up and go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I wasn't confusing. I hope you found it informative and just interesting. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.